All right, y'all, welcome back to State of the Franchise Gaming as we continue the Diamondbacks Desert Venom series here in 2023 as we face the Los Angeles Angels. And on the mound for them, they will have Dylan Bundy. Mike Trout is playing. Shohei Otani is not. Don't quote me on that. Um, hopefully they're able to fix the whole two-way situation next year to where we can actually play with them or we'll just get universal DH and we won't have to worry about it ever again. Nonetheless, here's our first baseman, Seth Beer. 224 average, two home runs, five RBIs. We will see him in a play a lot capacity as he hits this one down the right field side and that short wall allows that ball to bounce and jump over for a double. Carson Kelly at the plate. He is going to strike out immediately following Beers' double. Third strikeout for Dylan Bundy, and here's Aristide Aquino as he hits this one to third. Beer will dive back to second. Unfortunately, Aquino will sit back on the bench. Here's Chadwick Trump. Um, we haven't seen much of him, and honestly, we probably won't. Just got to be real with you. All right, he's in a 2-2 count. He is batting pretty well in limited at bats. See if he can come through at this point. And known for striking out, not much of a contact hitter. He swings and misses to end the inning. We jump to the top of the fourth with a runner at second. Beard does have a hit. Hopefully another double would drive in a run and give him the lead. But he is going to chop it back to the pitcher. He guns it to first. <laughs> no hesitation. One away. Top six with two away. Beer has an opportunity to get on the base paths. Two for four in the last game. One for two today. 74th pitch is grounded right to first base and he's going to be stepped on the bag. And unfortunately, that is the end of the inning. No score through six, though. Both teams not getting very many hits. Here are the NL West standings. We are in fifth, six games behind first, followed by San Diego, Los Angeles, Colorado, all three games behind San Francisco, who are leading the division at 12 and five. All right, Jeremiah Jackson will ground this one past Beer at first and roll in the right field. And I highlighted this for a reason. Angels take a two nothing lead. Josh James on the mound. Ball hit the beer. Beer throws it to Campos, covering short. And for some reason, Josh James doesn't bother to cover first. And neither does Beer. Runners will be at the corners. They did drive in a run. It is 3 0 in what might be the final at bat for Seth Beer today. He's 1 for 3. We just need him to get on at this point. And ooh, swing at a pitch like that. Change of speed will do damage to your batting average. All right, Angels do take this one, 3 nothing. Mike Trout actually was not playing. I take that back. That's Brian Reynolds in center. Bundy, the player of the game. Jaime Barea is the, gets the win. Eric Lauer gets the loss. But we come back home following an off day as we now face the Colorado Rockies. 10-10, ten ten, we are 6-12. All right, somehow we've played two less games than they have. But nonetheless, we've got Joey Murray, the young right-hander on the mound. A 1.31 ERA. Rockies jump out to a 5 nothing lead in the first. Now we'll see Cattell Marte, the man who signed a contract extension in the offseason, but is not hitting too well. 208, he does have three home runs. We just need him to get on, but he's going to chop it back up the middle and get thrown out at first to end the disastrous first. All right, Marte up in the bottom of the fourth, and damn. What are we doing out here? Down seven to nada. 41, the 41st pitch is shot the third. And he's going to be thrown out. Marte will go back to the bench. And hopefully this lead doesn't balloon any further. It does not. As we are still down seven nothing. Here in the bottom of the seventh. We've got a couple of hits, but not much to show for it. The four seamer is going to be fouled off. Armand Marquez, we've seen him for a while in this series. I think he signed a, a bit of an extension. And Marte grounds it to his own position, but he is going to be thrown out. 69th pitch is just as nice to get the first out of the seventh. 
Marte up now at the Mendoza line. 200's got a runner at second. He's going to crack this one to right field. It's going to get down. The runner at second was very hesitant to advance. He does so, but he could have scored. Beer looks like he is not beer. Marquez looks like he's going to finish this one. 100 pitches and can do so with a double play ball. 0 2 count. Marte takes off. And it is a high fly ball to right field. Ranging back is Blackman, and it'll end up in the stands. A three-run homer. Where the hell was this offense won the last game and at any point earlier in this one? Ken would lead the comeback and <laughs> erase a seven-run deficit in the ninth. We shall see. Beer hits this one 383 feet at a 90. 7.9 mile an hour velocity clip. All right, unfortunately, the offensive onslaught in the beginning of the game was too much for the Diamondbacks to overcome. Scoring seven runs in the first three innings and not needing to do much else. Josh James suffers bruised ribs today and will be out a day or two. We move on to the second game of the series. As the Rockies have now gotten above 500, Casey Golden there. Oh, oh. Bro, you about to pimp smack him, Fuentes? Relax. Again, for, uh, Story is still a Rocky. He decided to come back. I don't expect that in real life. Um, unless the Rockies want to just pay him something crazy to stay. Or maybe Story might just enjoy the mile high air. Nonetheless, J.B. Bukowskis, our young pitcher, will start this one. And he gets a fly ball to dead center. Pache runs back, makes the catch. The throw to the plate is, whoa, well offline and bounces before it even reaches the pitching mound. Pache's got a strong arm, but he probably could have hit the cutoff. It wouldn't have mattered, though. And the black man, I believe, hits this one to left center. Shallow and Pache makes the extended reach catch. A runner at second will advance. He's got a 91 speed. We'll take a look at the replay once again. Pache had to adjust his route and... Almost did not catch this. Route efficiency at a 95.2% clip. 102 feet are covered in distance. Here's Pache at the plate. Not batting too well. 210. And will lower that average even further via strikeout. Second strikeout for Austin Gomber. All right. The center fielder, number 25. Uh, Rockies have taken a 2 0 lead. We really just need something that gets out of the infield. To maybe advance a run and the knuckle curve ball has him freezing. Gomber, absolutely disgusting. Oh, hits that inside corner to get the call. Strike number three. Rockies lead 3 1, bottom of the sixth, and check swing. Come on, umpire, you're killing me now. I know Pache's not the best of hitters, but damn. Jump further along in this one. Bottom of the eighth, two outs, one two count. We can drive in two with a home run, but we can drive in one with a base hit. And good lord, that slider fell off the table like a wine glass underneath a tablecloth. All right, unfortunately, we take the L in this one. This being a short episode, the next one should be coming shortly. If you would like to see the Cleveland Browns, Code Brown series. Uh, live please check me out on twitch at state of the franchise sports otherwise you'll see the replays as they come out as i'm able to edit them um edgar arredondo is injured and uh josh james will come back we are in last place but i think i've got a shake up coming check out the next episode peace